The two Democratic frontrunners for governor faced off today, Neil Abercrombie and Mufi Hanneman, argued about everything from civil unions to who would be more qualified to lead the state. KITV4's Demby Fawcett has this Commitment 2010 report. At today's gathering of newspaper and magazine professionals, Mufi Hanneman stressed he has the executive experience to be governor. Neil Abercrombie said he'd bring change. People want change. They don't want the status quo. They don't want status quo politics. They don't want the old guard leadership. They want a new vision and a new way and a new day for Hawaii. Hanneman says Abercrombie has been in the public limelight for four decades. So you have to ask yourself the question. If he's been in Congress for 20 years, been in the public spotlight for 40 years, is he very credible about talking about change? And how effective has he been? Because these issues didn't just pop up overnight. It's not believable because the fact is if you've been there that long, you should have been able to effectuate change. The candidates differ on civil unions. Abercrombie said he'd support and sign into law a bill for civil unions. Hanneman declined to say whether he'd sign or veto a civil unions bill, only that he'd offer more benefits to same-sex couples. On tourism, Abercrombie said it's most important to improve infrastructure and sustainability to encourage tourism. The Hawaii state plan calls for uh, uh, an operation with regard to tourism that involves sustainability. I will champion tourism that no one, like, like no one else has done that before. I want to pick up on the long-awaited direct air service from China. Hanneman said another key priority would be the long overdue modernization of Hawaii's airports. Now, in today's debate over who was most qualified to be governor, Abercrombie said Hanneman is qualified to be mayor, and he wished he'd stay there. Back to you, Laura and Paula. All right.